very tough competition. And we're going to see Sidu staying on the Shaman. It's Rub Cub who is going to flex and bring out that Druid. Let's see who's able to take the first game of her series. Yeah, it's very important to be able to expand your branches onto the Druid healer in this particular meta as they are one of the strongest healers in general and can extend matches for quite some time. The Rejects, though, have stolen this composition from Europe's meta, although they were playing Windwalker Mage. Not necessarily do I think at the same caliber of the European teams that we saw with Morrow and Blizzo. So let's see if North America can step up to the plate here in game number one. Yep, Seth Curry is actually playing the same build we saw from Zach earlier on in the day where he's playing Tiger Eye Brew with the Serenity. So that makes me think they want to try to one-shot Mez. If Anti-Magic Shell isn't available for Mez, Seth Curry is going to be able to do a tremendous amount of damage. So we'll have to look out for those one-shots during the game if the Rejects can set it up properly. See you getting interrupted. And we kind of talked about it earlier. Method Orange, they have to be feeling very comfortable with this particular meta. When you think about them, you think about these cleave setups like the Death Knight, uh, Demon Hunter, or adding in a Windwalker Monk, or double Demon Hunter with the Resto Shaman. And they're very comfortable with these compositions, and that's what happens to be exceptionally good right now. So Method Orange, definitely in a good spot for success, but the Rejects, maybe with this composition, have found the answer to these cleave setups. We do see Trill pressuring Rub Cub with that Mana Rift, looking to make sure that he casts it right after a stun to diminish the mana regeneration of Rub Cub. And Trill has been and playing with that mana rift for probably the better part of a year at this point so he's definitely the master of making sure that he nails as many of them as possible and as frequently as he can another one secured onto rub cub and every single mana rift is just creating more of an advantage for method orange in this fight jamili doing his best to avoid mez on that arcane mage and as we pointed out trying to attack the arcane mage is actually enabling the arcane mage a lot more power than it would normally have mez now switching his attention to seth curry instead realizing giving chase to the Arcane Mage may not be a worthwhile experience. Actually sending the Ray's Abomination after Rub Cub to support Trill. Seems like the Abomination is a little bit lost walking back and forth and not really able to find a target. Uh, I don't actually think that cooldown is super effective in this matchup with how much mobility is available on the side of the Rejects. I think Mez may want to try and look to switch that talent up later on. Yeah, and Rub Cub just getting pressure down so much in this matchup. Trill is one of the first Demon Hunters to popularize that mana rift talent, and he definitely has a lot of experience using it, as it was a big reason why they had so much success at last year's BlizzCon. So Method Orange, this strategy is something they're very familiar with, and you can tell. Trill, he's been hunting down Rub Cub, burning his mana quite quickly, landing mana rift after mana rift. Mez could be in a little bit of trouble. Spell Steel Spam coming in from Jamili. I'm curious to see the build that he's playing. I'll definitely check it out very shortly to see exactly what he's running in this matchup to optimize his damage. Full Polymorph secured onto Sidu. Mez on 60% health. Do they have any follow-up damage? Sidu should be able to top him off or at least keep him stable without any dampening. All right, Mez starting to stabilize, but that Mana Rift lead is really establishing itself at this point. Jamili finally taking control of Trill with a Polymorph, but dispelled by Sidu so that Trill can keep up the chase, keep up the hunt. Now imprisoning Rub Cub, timing the Mana Rift right as that imprison ends, but Rub Cub is able to jump out of it in time. Good maneuvers on Rub Cub's part to avoid it as much as possible, but it's really just looking like an inevitability that he's going to be burned dry. Mez is now getting counter pressured. Finally, the rejects showing some signs of life here in game number one. Cooldown overlap on the side of Method Orange. If the rejects can stay in this fight into dampening and make a big push such as that onto Mez, perhaps they just take him out. Yeah, Mez still low. Cyclone secured onto CD. He has Trinket and Spirit Link. Opts to save the Trinket and barely get that Spirit Link off in the nick of time. Mez manages to survive, but the Rejects, they've been having a lot of pressure in this matchup so far. I think with Trill just hunting down Rub Cub, it's going to not be looking great for Method Orange until Rub Cub is completely tapped on mana. And at that point, that's when Method Orange really will secure the lead. They really have to hold on a little bit longer. But Mez left all alone. Does have the anti-magic shell off to acting to or opting to activate it just now. Surviving. Leg sweep now onto Mez. Sidu with his or mastery should be able to get the casted heals off to keep himself up. Jamili just relentless with that spell steal spam in this matchup. Removing all the riptides, Earth Shield, um, Earthen Shield Totem, and basically everything he can to prevent Sidu from actually getting heals up on Mez. Alright, Mez is stabilized. Trill still on the hunt for the rest of Rub Cub's man. I'm curious to see if he can time that mana rift at the end of his imprison. Looks like Rub Cub was once again able to wild charge away from it, avoiding another attempt at his mana bar. Good awareness on Rub Cub's part to keep making these quick getaways and avoid it as much as possible. But ultimately, I think that the lead has established itself. If Sidu can keep Mez alive for the next two crowd control attempts, 
then all of his defensive lineup will rotate and be available. Trill sort of needs to get back to his team. He, he wants to keep burning down the mana, but at the same time, Darkness is the only defense really left for Mez, and Trill needs to be in range to activate that. Actually just trying to solo Rub Cub here as dampening has just begun. Popping that Metamorphosis, now immediately coming back to save the crowd control of Sea-Doo. Reverse magic, and then Trill just double jumping, back flipping across the map to deny Rub Cub from finding a drink. Trill all over the map, accomplishing both defense and offense perfectly. Yep, Rub Cub still trying to survive. Jamili coming back, actually looking for Polymorph spams onto Trill, allowing Rub Cub just a little bit of time to sit down and potentially get a drink in this matchup. And if he can reset his mana, it's going to be huge for uh, the rejects in this matchup. Rub Cub got a little bit of a sip there from Jamili helping him out, but Trill still just chasing him down. And I like the positioning when Mez is at the pillar with c -Doo. It really limits the amount of damage Jamili is able to do with the Arcane Missiles and Arcane Blasts and uh, he can avoid a lot of that damage entirely. So in this 2v2 setup, I really don't mind Method Orange just sort of leaving Trill to do what he needs to do and then allowing Mez and CD to just sort of hide behind the pillar. But when Jamili comes back like this, they need to do something because Trill, he just locked out, not able to completely shut down Rub Cup, although manages to find it there. But I feel like if that continuously happens, eventually Rub Cub will be able to get some mana. So Mez and Sidu, they definitely have to watch out for that. All right, Rub Cub getting run down by Method Orange here. Almost tapped on mana with dampening starting. It's going to be trouble times for Rub Cub. Trill staying on target. Mez forced to split off. He can't keep up the chase. Seth Curry is doing a great job backing up Rub Cub in that regard. There have been a couple of close calls for Mez throughout this fight, but now most of his defense has rotated back and is available again. So those openings are basically lost for the rejects, and the mana lead still establishes itself here at 11% dampening. Seth Curry now peeling Trill off of his healer Rub Cub, trying to snare him up and deny the reconnect, but ultimately not able to. It is probably the most difficult thing in the game to keep a Demon Hunter from attacking your healer. Jamilia is now trying to assist with Polymorphs, managing to at least stall Trill for a couple of seconds, but now Mez is on target, really leading the charge, but overextending, has to trade out defensive cooldowns. Overlapped, Ring of Peace denies the darkness. He is able to get back into it. Perfect cooldown usage by Mez, immuning that knockback of the Ring of piece and getting back into the defense but ultimately they still trinket and spear link totem all three major defensive cooldowns for method orange blown in one attack that was a bit of a panic there for method orange i feel like they overused just a little bit seth curry now in a very vulnerable position no touch of karma no diffuse magic no nothing if they can stay on target rub cup completely oom um, and this is this is where method orange really has the advantage seth curry gets gripped behind the pillar if mez and trill can connect i think seth curry ultimately goes down he's gonna have to play a beautiful game kiting in order to survive this ports into the midfield rub cup sitting down for a drink this is such a risky maneuver from the rejects Seth Curry could ultimately fall. He gets interrupted, still kiting away. Rub Cub wasn't able to sit down for a drink at all. Seth Curry trying to buy a little bit more time with the Turbo Fist, Fists of Fury Parry, still kiting away, but it is so difficult to get away from a Death Knight as well as a Demon Hunter, and Method Orange claims game number one. Sticking to their strategy is just too much for the Rejects to handle. He was able to get that quest line done as well, even though he's not on live. So Jamili, an absolute expert mage. He is going to have the pet though. We can see some of those talent choices right now. If you want to see all of them in detail, you can check the plugin. Method Orange going to be playing one of the compositions that they are most known for as the rejects switch some things up, but you still have them on their mains. It's going to be the pressure point of Rub Cup right now on the Druid. We don't get to say this very often, but Jamili is already better than Maru in this specific matchup. You see that water elemental? It is chucking out damage. You know what Morrow didn't do yesterday? Didn't have his water elemental chucking out damage. NA greater region confirmed. Well, to be fair, you can't base the entire nope, nope, I just did. on just the pet control, but right. he has better pet control for sure. Yeah, Jamili right now, he actually is uh, opting to use the Packed Ice Whiteout build, so that's just going to be empowering his Ice Lance's Packed Ice. Ice Lance damage deals an additional dam uh, damage to targets that were recently hit by Frozen Orb. And then white out ice lance deals additional damage and also reduces the cooldown of frozen orb so those two talents those two azurite traits synergize quite nicely and it's gonna really allow him to do more damage in this game if he's being targeted down and uh, being limited on the amount of casts he's able to get off he's also opting to go with netherwind armor so a bit of a defensive uh, pvp talent choice it's gonna reduce the amount he gets critically struck by 15 percent and I honestly, I don't like that that much against a non-Windwalker Death Knight. I feel like just a Death Knight, they don't have high enough crit for it to really matter that much. And I don't think it's actually going to be slowing down too much damage. With the strategy that Method Orange are employing, they're creating a situation where it's Trill versus Rub Cub, 
Trill always wins that one-on-one. -on -one. Then it's Jamili, Seth Curry against Mez and Sidu. Pretty sure the Resto Shaman Death Knight always wins that two versus two. They have to reconvene the positioning. I was wondering if he went Frost so they were going to target Trill and attack and snare him and prevent him from connecting to Rub Cub, but that is not what they are actually trying to do. And Rub Cub's just taking huge pressure, falling so far behind on every front here in game number two. This is the best map for the rejects. If they can't pull it off here, I don't think they can in general. Yeah, I, I feel like Method Orange, they are definitely uh, favored in this matchup. The Rejects, I don't know if this composition is necessarily going to work. They need to prevent Trill from being on Rub Cub. It's not even dampening. Rub Cub's already 25% mana in this matchup, and it's only going to get worse unless Rub Cub can sit down for a drink. But Sidu chasing him, there's no damage on Mez right now. He's 100% HP. Jamili trying to create some pressure, but just unable to. Finally, Rub Cub sneaks away, looking for a drink. Can Mez shut it down? Trill? Rub Cub actually got a little bit of mana there. Things are looking a little bit better for the Rejects. Yeah, they are managing to scramble something together. Rub Cub sneaks away from the fight. Trill looking to get around the corner as soon as possible. Denies any mana regeneration. Confirms another mana rift, tearing even further that huge lead that's establishing itself. Mez trying to stay on target. Seth Curry trying to keep him off of Jamili's back. But as I said, it's a two versus two that I think goes in favor of Method Orange and a one versus one that I think goes in favor of Method Orange. And unless Jamili and Seth Curry change up their targeting to try and switch that situation to be a three versus three or more favorable setup, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to. Seth Curry is marching his way over to Trill trying to snare him up and target him down. And it is typically seen as the Demon Hunter is the target before dampening, and then deeper into dampening, you make a switch to the Death Knight. So I would like to see the Rejects change their targets. What I want to see in this matchup, I think this is the best strategy the Rejects could possibly have. With Trill being so far away, Rub Cub crowd controls Trill, and then Seth Curry goes, he incapacitates Sidu, and they just do a one-shot on him with Serenity and Legs. We've tried to delete Sidu out of the game. He's playing Dwarf, so he doesn't have the reduction on those stuns, and I think if Jamili saves his Frozen Orb, his Comet Storm, his Ice Nova, a lot of instant cast damage, they can just take Sidu out quite quickly, and the only thing that could potentially save him is Trill's Darkness, and if Trill's just caught on the other side of the map, uh, I think Sidu would be in a lot of trouble, but they're just going after Mez, and they just aren't getting anything done. Mez hasn't been scared once this entire game. Serenity gets used by Seth Curry once again. He is running the Tiger Eye Brew, but if Mez can use the anti-magic shell, he just completely negates all damage taken from Seth Curry and Jamili, especially while Tiger Eye Brew is active. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult. Seth Curry trades, they overlap, and the rejects are falling behind not only on mana, but as well as defensive cooldowns. They've created some pressure here on Mez, managing to bank Icebound Fortitude at least. That's one major objective that they've gotten out of the way to at least keep themselves alive here in game number two. But these mana rifts are just a ticking time bomb that is eventually going to eradicate the mana of Rub Cub. He's on the run, looking to get a lot of distance. He's getting back up by Seth Curry. You see that? Ghoul and Sidu crossing the map. Sidu gets Ring of Peace away. Seth Curry doing anything that he can to deny the reconnect on Rub Cub's drink, but wasn't able to stall it. And now Rub Cub is just totally tapped. Jamili's health is starting to falter, and Method Orange have a clear lead. Yeah, a clear lead in this matchup indeed. There's been no pressure on Method Orange in this matchup so far. Jamili falling behind. Could be his first ice block of the game. Rub Cub still trying to sneak away. Trill gets Frost Novid. Nicely done there by the Rejects. They might have bought Rub Cub enough time to actually get some drinks, but Mez manages to find the Death and Decay, that orange circle on the ground, that red circle on the ground. It's an area of effect spell Mez can use, and it's really good at shutting down these drinks. All three members of Method Orange have just been on point very focused on making sure Rub Cub can never drink. Yeah, most certainly is the case, and that needs to be their objective. If Rub Cub at any point, such as the one right now, can get away, drop combat, and regenerate mana, Mez's ghoul is not able to get over there fast enough. Now counter pressure as well towards Mez. How much did you get, Rub Cub? Well, I guess he didn't get any. That's a little bit unfortunate. Now he's dashing across the map again, trying to escape Trill and sit down. All he wants to do is get one sip, one drink, but he just can't get one drink here. Mez is finally still getting pressured. Maybe Jamili and Seth Curry can carry the team in that two-on-two -two against Mez and Sidu. Trill now pulls back to assist. He has Darkness ready and waiting to make the trade if necessary to survive. But while he pulls back to assist the team, Rub Cub tries to sneak away. He can't, though. Jamili's getting pressured. He's forced into the ice block, and 
just more and more it is the case that Method Orange have this game under control. Yeah, Jamili, no ice blocks left. Caught in the stun, activates the temporal shield. Can't see to remove it. Doesn't look like he's going for the purges just yet. Now Rub Cub still completely out of mana. Doesn't have much left to keep Jamili alive. And Trill now changes his focus onto Jamili. He knows Rub Cub completely tapped on mana. There is just no way he can keep Jamili up. Jamili gets gripped over to Mez, and it is just a matter of time before he falls. And ultimately, will Iron Bark might keep him alive? Potentially, but Rub Cub just with no mana left. There's no way way he can heal Jamili up and Method Orange once again perfect execution of their strategy Not only see that weakness but truly reveal it Shrill on that Demon Hunter trying to close this one out all right, ladies and gentlemen, match point in the upper bracket. Method Orange are asserting dominance here as the Rejects desperately try to pull something together, but it does not seem to be like they have an answer for this tyrannical composition that Method Orange have brought to the competition with this Mana Rift strategy. Trill completely burns Rub Cub out of the match. Mez keeps up the onslaught and pressure in two places. And then Cedo, of course, keeping everybody alive and maintaining a significant mana lead throughout. It's up to the rejects to try and find opportunity here they're on match point if they lose this they go down to the lower bracket and that is a very deadly lower bracket rub cup already getting pressured and method orange are playing a lot more aggressive here in game three as they've got such a massive lead i can't blame them yeah they already got touch of karma as well and we see method orange they like to switch it up do they go for the all-in are they playing a more conservative strategy and this match they are going all in on to rub cup how is he going to survive? He has no trinket. Safeguard gets shredded through. No iron bark, no bark skin. His team has to keep him alive. He dashes behind the pillar. Regrow spam oh. comes in, but Trill with the hero stun coming out of nowhere. Rub Cub still barely holding on, but Mez can't oh. reconnect and interrupt onto Rub Cub, but Bash immediately um, onto Trill will keep him alive. Now imprisoned at low health. Mez, not, I would like to see Mez at least marching his way over here. I know it's not that easy to move on a death knight, but I guess he's just fine and happy hitting Seth Curry on the opposite side of the map. And he is building at least decent pressure, but Icebound Fortitude was traded. So maybe the defense starting to crack here for Method Orange. They're playing a lot more assertive here, and um, they've got room to breathe. They, they can just try and strangle this out right away if they want to, because even if they lose this, they've still got two maps, and they can pick the smallest ones in the pool. And Rub Cub can't drink on the biggest map. He's not drinking on the smallest one. So it's unsurprising to me to see Method Orange try and play more aggressive here on Ashamane Fall and just close it out. Yeah, definitely, and Jamili on the Arcane Mage has been able to do a little bit more in this matchup on the Frost Mage. You really struggled to find pressure in that last game, so you really can't blame him. Wants the extra mobility. He actually is opting into Ring of Frost this game instead of Chrono Shift, so potentially wants to drop out the Ring of Frost to allow Rub Cub to escape Trill a little bit longer and, uh, when they cross the map, but getting a full Ring of Frost onto Sea Dew. Now Rub Cub once again trying to escape. You can see the rejects, they have good control, but. Uh, Method Orange in hot pursuit. Rub Cub still not able to find any mana in this matchup. Is he drinking? No, just can't get out of combat. Method Orange, their synergy with this composition, with the strategy, it just is. It feels like the rejects don't have an answer. See, do even just casting hexes, really trying to disrupt the team and just push Rub Cub over the edge. Ring of Peace, not able to entirely protect Rub Cub. He is just immediately going to have to start kiting. He's traded a lot of his defense, gets gripped back into the fight, lands a double dispel on both Maledicts, though well timed on his part, but now imprisoned on his Tiger Dash, unable to escape. Mez, though, being counter pressured, and I pointed that out as a point of weakness earlier that Icebound Fortitude isn't available. Trill, though, jumps into the fight, reverses Sidu out of the Polymark, but now followed up by another. Mez potentially in trouble here, although not into dampening just yet. Death Strike, I would assume, is only going to be impending him to top off shortly, and it, it is going to be the case. Mez is no longer in danger. Seth Curry is being pressured. Rub Cub's mana is almost completely tapped out. Mez has his ghoul going after Rub Cub. Good pet management there. Actually pulling it back. Rub Cub was able to get a restyle. Now Death and Decay Ooh. instead. Snipe from the right side of the pillar on Mez's part. Another drink denial for it. Method Orange, and if Rub Cub cannot get a drink he is simply going to run dry wither up and dissipate from the upper bracket yep, unfortunately for rub cub in this matchup it's just been so difficult for him once again jamili trying to back him up allow him to escape but there's just no counter pressure to on method orange the only time they get any damage rolling is with serenity but that just hasn't been enough to even be close to taking mez down method orange has all the defensive cooldowns rub cub trying to survive with an innervate gets dispelled there by trill immediately bad luck for rub cub unfortunately now he's going to be denied on all of that free healing all right perfect timing there on the part of method orange and i mean at this point if you're rub cub 
Seriously, what do you do? You've got no mana. There's a ghoul. There's a demon hunter chasing you. You're just running laps around the arena. Your teammates are just inevitably dying. I mean, this is such a grim place to be in as the rejects. They tried to take the composition from Europe and, and play it more effectively, but uh, Method Orange have just the perfect strategy and great execution, trying to take this large map and play it into their own favor by playing overly aggressive. They can afford to because they're two up in the series anyway. Rub Cub just on the retreat. Can he finally get away? I'm, I'm whispering so that the enemy team doesn't hear where he is. Is he going to be able to sit down and get a drink? Oh, Mez might stop it. Is no. He? no mana. Yep, no mana left for Rub Cub. Now Seth Curry getting targeted down. And this is the win condition for Method Orange. Rub Cub, no mana left. Seth Curry getting low. He has no heals. He has no backup from his team. There's just simply no mana to keep him alive. Iron Bark de deflects some of that damage incoming. Seth Curry spamming out the Vivify. He's the only one left with a resource that can actually top himself off. Rub Cub gets denied on the drink once again. And this is the problem for the rejects. Basically, they need dampening to kill Mez and Trill. It's just a fact. Mez and Trill aren't going to go down before dampening, except if a miracle is somehow pulled off. And with the way Method Orange is playing it, they're just out of mana way before dampening, way before they can actually go down on these hero classes. And Rub Cub still trying to sneak away for drink, unfortunately not able to find it. Yeah, and I mean, ultimately, that's the name of the game. He has no mana left to his name, and it's more of the same. Will he be able to get away? I do not think so, and I'm sure that Rub Cub is feeling rather lame. Is he going to be able to escape? Can he untame? We're about to find out here shortly, but Seth Curry is being pressured. Has such a karma to make the trade if he needs to and manages to pull it out just in time to stay alive. Rub Cub still just running on the outskirts of the map, trying to find any opportunity, but Method Orange are consistently all over him and totally denying that drink. Once again, sneaking around the corner, but CD on one side, Trill on the other. Mana Rift more than certainly going to be confirming the end of the match here shortly as there is no defense left for Seth Curry. Mez can just lead the charge with damage onto him while Trill keeps up the chase to burn down the remaining mana of Rub Cub. Polymorph snagged in here on the Sea Dude. Reverse Magic is going to remove that Rub Cub. Making a getaway. Is anyone going to be able to get here in time? Sea Dude, are you going to snipe it? Rub Cub is going to be so mad at this point. Seth Curry now with not much left to stay alive. Rub Cub just cannot get a catch a break in this series. He just needs a couple seconds, a five minute water break, but he just can't get it. And Seth Curry is ultimately going to be taken down. He's trying to fist of fury, the turbo fist parrying the attacks to stay alive in these final seconds, but it's just an inevitability as Trill moves in and closes it out. 3-0. Another 3-0 method orange on an absolute on the feed versus the fake zebras we're all tied up one and one who is going to find themselves on match point who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament keep in mind folks we're doing a brand new thing you have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for azeroth